I'm going to start off by priming my eyes with my Lane Crime Eyeshadow Helper and I think it's around $17. I don't know, the last time I bought, bought this I got it for like about, yeah, that much. And I'll link you to the um, link in the down bar below if you're interested in purchasing it because I love this Lime Crime Primer and I've had this for over a year and I don't you know I don't really enjoy the other primers out there apart from this one and I've got two of these as well so just shows how much I love it so I'm just gonna prime the entire eyelid like so and just going to prime the bottom lash line so next I'm going to be taking my Stella in the light palette and you can purchase this from asos.com for about $37 Take a. I've got all my brushes behind me, so. And I've been testing out the Sedona lace brushes on myself, and I've got to say, I love them, guys. The Sedona lace brushes are so, so nice. Um, and just because a brush says that it's for one purpose doesn't necessarily mean it can be used for that just one purpose. You can actually use it for all kinds. Say, so this is a pencil brush. You can use it in your crease, you can use it to contour your nose. I'm going to grab, oh, it's so messy. What colour is that? I'm going to grab Bliss, which is that colour there, with the brush. And apply this into the crease and just outer sea of my eyes. So apply this just in the outer sea, into the crease. And my crease is just up here where the hollows of my eyes are. Can you see that? Where I press the brush down, it just sinks in because that's where the hollows of my eyes are. That's where your crease would be if you need guideline. It's going to take some more colour and apply some more. You really want to make sure that this corner here is darker than what you have in your crease here. So make sure you add more colour in this particular corner here. Like what I've done, you can see that it's kind of darker than what I've got in the crease. Sandstone, which is that matte brown there. And at the moment, I'm just using matte colours. There's no shimmer or anything in them. I'm just going to take some of that colour and apply this just right in the corner here. I might zoom the camera in, that way you can see what I'm putting to my eyes. Hopefully it doesn't get too blurry. I'm just going to take some more colour and apply that just in the outer corner here. And what I normally like to do with my eyes is add a little bit more colour up here just where the crease is on the outer corner. Like here and here, just at the top here where the crease is because when I wing my eyes I kind of wing it up a little and then extend it into the lid and then like when I do that this color here you won't be able to see anymore so I make that area a bit darker so once I do wing the line you can still see the dark shadow there so that's just yeah my trick I'm just gonna blend this eye a little bit more they're gorgeous colors then I'm gonna grab what color is this hmm Gilded Gold, which is like brown with gold shimmer in it. And I'm just going to take my blending brush and take like the shadow and just kind of dip the tip of the brush into the palette. And anyways, apply that shadow just on top of the crease here. Sorry if I'm a little bit up close and like sort of, you know, in your face, but... This is the only way you'll be able to see the eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like so far and it's really nice and neutral. And for some it might be too much but this is what I think is a really nice neutral eye makeup for an interview and it isn't too heavy at all. If the colours here are too dark, maybe just stick with lighter matte colours, lighter browns, you know. But it's just a bit nicer to have the dark colours here to make your eyes look a little bit more three-dimensional. Um, so where, um, whereabouts are we up to? The, the bottom lash line. So what I'm going to do is just pop a little bit of, um, Kitten, which is that colour that's cracked. It's the shimmer to the inner corner of my eyes in the inner corner. So just here. And bring it down to the lash line here. 
just going to go with sandstone again, which is the matte brown. And apply this on the bottom lash line very lightly though, not too dark. So, just on the bottom. Me. My flat shadow brush, and this is um, the Urban Decay's flat eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to take Bare from the palette, which is the matte color there. It's a nice sort of um, cream shape. So I'm going to pat this all over the eyelid. And stopping where the brown is. I'm not going on top. I'm going to pull it up to the crease. And we're going to blend it anyway, so... And with this particular look, you can't go wrong with any lip shade. It just matches all sorts of colors. You can wear your dark plums with it, your black lipstick even, red even, pink. So, no, can't go wrong. It's a nice neutral eye color. Like My battery is a bit low at the moment, so I'm just going to finish off the other eye. And I'm going to line it and wing it, and I'm pretty sure most of you know how to line your eyes anyway. And I've got a few videos showing you how I line my eyes in particular. So I'm going to do all that, and then I'm just going to apply my Calvin Klein Mascara on. Um, and my Ardell 118 lashes on, which is this one here, my favorite lashes. And I'm going to put my foundation on. And you've seen my foundation routine, like all I really use is... Um, Hang on, I'm just going to zoom out so I'm not in your face, sorry. I just don't want the video to go for too long and the battery's about to die. So, um, yeah, my, my Holy Grail foundation is my Celebre HD Pro Cream Foundation by Mayron. And it's my absolute favorite. I'm in Eurasia Fair, which is like a yellow base foundation. And it blends in smoothly into my skin, makes my skin look flawless. I don't even need, like, concealer. And I've got blemishes here as well. And I don't really need concealer when I've got this because it's full coverage. And I use my Sigma F82 brush as well. It's the round kabuki brush and I love this brush. Love it. And normally after that, I apply my Ben Nye Luxury Banana Powder. And after that, I'm just going to... Um, I'm thinking of what to apply on my cheeks. I, I highlight my face with Booty Call from Naked. That's how I highlight my face with. It's a really nice shimmery color so I'm gonna just swatch it for you because you probably can't see what it looks like so it's that color there how gorgeous is that that's the color that I highlight my face with because it's a nice shimmery color you know you can do whatever with eyeshadow there's no, there's no rules to makeup no rules to brushes how to use them where to put them um and then I'm just gonna contour my cheeks with Stiller bronzer and this is in shade two and then over that just to darken it up a little on my cheeks, I'm going to take that color there. This is my La Femme blush. You can get it from Camera Ready Cosmetics for about $40 to $50. I'm going to pop that over the contour to darken it. And for the blush, I'm going to put that color on. I know it looks bright, but it really isn't. It's a gorgeous color once you blend it onto the cheeks. So yeah, I'm going to do all that. And then for my lips, I'm just going to line it with my L'Oreal Paris Studio Secrets um, Coral Lip Liner, which is a really nice nude. I'm going to show you what it looks like on my hand. It's a pinchy, a peachy nude lip liner, and I really, really love it because it's just really beautiful and doesn't make you look pale or sick or anything. So if you do have really fair skin, um, it won't make you look washed out. And then just on top of that, my Lime Crime lipstick, which I absolutely love and I've been using for at least over a year now. I swear by the Lime Crime products, they're just absolutely beautiful, so that's just going to go on top. And that's a nude lipstick as well. And yet again, it doesn't make you look sick or pale. So if you're interested in grabbing the lipstick, then um, check the down bar below. It will be the same link as the Lime Crime Primer because, you know, they're the same brand anyway. So just check the down bar below. And I'll be back with the final look. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hi, everyone. So um, I'm going to do like a quick outfit of the day just to show you what I am wearing for the interview. And um, I've just completed my makeup as well. Um, this is the final look. If you want to see, um, all the products will be listed in the down bar below. If not, then it's in my blog. So do check the information bar below. Um, so it's got, you know, the 
the eyelashes and everything on the eyebrows have been done um i did like a quick video on how to contour your cheeks the way i do it and how to do my brows like just an updated video because the other brow video i did was um a little bit too long and also i was really far away i was doing it like this far from the camera like that and you know the new one is um a little bit up close so you can actually see my brows and that um in the in the video that I actually had a contour it's um it's contouring blush and highlighting as well so three in one so yeah with the um outfit i'm gonna go back a little I've got my hair up in a ponytail like this and if you want to see how to do it check the down bar below because I got a tutorial on it and did this tutorial like last year as well. So anyways, I'm wearing a black blazer. This is from Bardo and I got it for $99 um, in Melbourne for my birthday last year and they still have blazers that look sort of similar like this but um, nothing as close to this because this one's got a little um, bow tie thing at the back. Can you see that? So it's got that there. Um, and the ones that they sell now are just a little bit longer and colourful. So, But this was really nice. So my boyfriend got me this. And then I'm just going to stand up. So this is what I'm wearing. It sort of looks like I'm wearing a peplum dress. But I'm not. This is actually a peplum top. So this top is from Forever New. And I got it for I think 49 95 so it's a peplum it goes all the way around and i absolutely love the back and i wore the blazer for a reason i don't want them to see you know the detailing at the back of my skin that's just really a bad impression for interviews so i had to cover it and just underneath is a pencil skirt from um supre for i think it was 30 dollars. i can't remember but you can still get them at supre and it's just up to my knee sort of thing like that and it's got side pockets and for my shoes, I'm just wearing my ballet flats from Nova. So I got these for, I think, $30 um, on sale. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing. And just the bag that I'm carrying around is the side bag here from Mishop. And it's just got my ID, my phone, gum, and pen. That's all I have in there. So yeah. It's my outfit of the day for an interview. Um, it's just really, really simple. You know, I don't want to wear too much and too little. And you don't want to have your cleavage showing. You want to definitely cover that up because it's a bad impression. I'm just wearing simple, a simple um, necklace as well that I always wear. So nothing on my hands, nothing on my ears. It's very, very simple and simple neutral makeup. Okay, so yeah. Hopefully you enjoy the video and um, I'll see you all soon. Bye.